Well, homeless and poor people in California may soon be getting free cell phones and service thanks to a federally funded Lifeline program. 23 ABC's Christine Din has the details on that and reaction from potential recipients. Christine? The cell phones would be handed out through the federally funded Lifeline program. The California Public Utilities Commission has been reviewing the Lifeline proposal for three years, which is expected to be approved in the coming weeks. Every day brings heavy choices for low-income and homeless people. People are having to choose between paying for medicine, buying food, or paying for phone communication services. For many, like Lisa Nelson, giving up communication with loved ones is heartbreaking, especially when it's one of her 10 children or her son who is in the U.S. Coast Guard. He's doing stuff that he's supposed to be doing for our country. And for me not to be able to say, Melvin, are you okay? It hurts. And to not be able to <laughs> say something back to me. But that may soon change. The California Public Utilities Commission is considering approving the Lifeline program, which gives low income people free cell phones and service. Hello. They're saving money on the communications, and at the same time, they can use that money they're saving to pay their rent to pay for their heat, to buy food, or to buy medicine. I, I basically worry monthly whether my phone will even be on or off or anything. And having a free phone would be a lot off of my mind. The goal of the program is to keep the poor and homeless in touch with family, potential employers, and others crucial to improving their lives. Telephone communications are a necessity in this day and age, um, especially with the unemployment rate so high. People need a way to reach out to potential employers and get calls back from potential employers. Potential recipients are thrilled. Wonderful. I think it'd be wonderful, especially if you're not able to afford it. In other states, the program is paid for by contributions from cell phone carriers like Sprint or AT&T. They can recoup those costs by charging subscribers a surcharge fee. It's unknown if that will be the case in California. In the studio, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.